Hi everybody, good morning. Yesterday Trayek me released the SOC L1 L triage. This is basically they released I think because of some confusion of people uh, uh, how to use the SOC simulation. This is part of a... Uh, okay, I don't need you. Uh, the SOC simu uh, simulation software, they use it as part of Trayek me. Uh, I think they have two free... where is that free things? If you click here, there's only two free ones. This is uh, the introduction and then the finishing and fold. Uh, this one to start them and then you can do some uh, analysis on them. But for this room, it's more basic. They want to, uh, uh, it's preparation for the defense certification uh, SOL 1 because it used this uh, the simulation 1. So they do an introduction here about how to use the SOC 1. Of course they give us the access here. Uh, this one is more uh, simpler version. Uh, this new AI to give you a report for your uh, report because this room is not about writing a report, it's more about how to assign yourself uh, um, uh, the triage or the let me zoom it a little bit. We'll come back later to this. So if we start the room, this one is straightforward room because it's introduction. Uh, this one, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this uh, the name of this one, they tell you... I forgot it's the name of this software they're using for this simulation. This one is... Uh, where's the name? I forgot where I found it. In any case, we'll come back to this. <coughs> so basically, this is uh, one of the software they're using for alerts. So this one, uh, this alert, uh, how you see, for example, the alert are coming, new, in progress, through positive, or for uh, false positive, uh, for example, archives, and things like that. So, for example, later you notice a lot of alerts. The base way, this is a free room, so you can read about it. I'm going quick to any question if someone has issue with them. Uh, from event to alert, so the, the, you start with an event, for example, like user login, process launch, file download, firewall, anything, something like that. Uh, alert management be used these different ones. For example, now you have uh, SIM, SIM of course is security information and event management. There's a Splunk, there is a MS Defender, CrowdStrike, this, uh, this is not free one, so the Splunk uh, SOAR, Cortex, this is more for uh, tickets, uh, Jira is the old one, I think most now they're using like for IT, there's Linear, there is the Hive, uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, we can check, for example, the Cortex, this is uh, automatic diffuser with Cortex, I, I think it's called X, I'm not sure with TriHack me, they use, uh, there's no X there. I'm not sure. We have uh, Splunk Security Orchestration Automation and Response. This is the SOAR one. Uh, we have, uh, which one is this one? Uh, CrowdStrike, the one, remember they make disaster, I think, last year for that uh, update where all the Windows machines have almost crashed. Then we have the, the Microsoft Defender. Our famous for the, most of the rooms when do Windows and try to bypass Windows Defender. And we have Elastics, the search uh, company. I like this one. Splunk is always in it to type in. Then is uh, Splunk Enterprise Security. <laughs> they also have certification as uh, exams to do for Splunk. In any case, let's go back. Oh no, this one is that. So uh, this is our room. Then uh, L1 is the first uh, line of defense in SOC. L1 is uh, the first line of defense, and they also ones who work to alert most. So start with L1. You review the alert, distinguish bad or good. Uh, not, and then if there is something, you can notify the L2. The L2 receives the alert. Uh, is escalated by L1 analysis and for deeper analysis. The engineer, of course, ensure the alert contain enough information required for efficient uh, alert to uh, triage, and the manager, of course, is managing the whole SOC, so like all everything is working. So basically, you start here in um, level one. 
Now let's start for example it is what's the number of things you can see now we have one two three four five we have five alerts so we can say that here is more introduction that's why this room is a bit easy it's not too many things you can do what is the name of the most recent alert you see now if you go to the time uh, the time is uh, 21st March all of them this is 158 so this is one is uh, the latest so the latest one is double f double extension file creation so that's the, the file there the alert progress of course now here um, of course Triac me is doing the simulation because it, uh, this one are not very stuff to, to install it uh, real-world scenarios for, so it's almost like um, yeah it's better than nothing so at least you see something and you can do them so here of course they tell you <coughs> this is, is self-exploratory so you can see uh, the time the name of the alert severity medium high status uh, verdict assigned action uh, and this is like a general rule but it can uh, for example here alert security you can have low medium high critical even you can make customs alert status like so you often have a custom because di different companies they may have different scenarios alert vertic assign description and this is basic like for example here you can see this is the vertic it's already this one being for example said false positive we can check for example this one for as it was assigned to T Ross, so we can, uh, uh, for example, here we can say, <coughs> sorry, the user access corporate vignette from the first scene location. This slogan may indicate that the user account is compromised and threat actor uh, breaking in. Uh, we have the user, we have from Japan, United States, uh, M Clark corporate CFO config. This is mine of yesterday, still remember it. Oh, let me restart. No, that's it. Uh, it's like they give us the answer or what this is what I was doing yesterday and then this one true positive for uh, G Adam it's like they give us the answer or something Rue detect 50 or more failed login in a single system from an external IP during short period of time this alert may indicate that a system has an internet exposed and activity boot forcing by the threat actor uh, you can see the comment of the colleague for example here it says it's an RDP it was concluded that when iDev is temporary, v, uh, v, uh, temporary VM created by IT for development purposes that was not per properly secured and exposed RDP ports so this one is true positive so this is not ours of course now you can see for example if I have this this is assigned none and we have a high critical and low so you follow the room what was the verdict of the U uh, unusual VPN login location alert? Oh, this is the verdict. So, unusual VPN location, the verdict was uh, uh, false positive because uh, this false positive. And then, what user was mentioned in the unusual VPN login, uh, unusual VPN? If you read now the thing, you said user access corporate source user is m.clark and the comment talk about uh, so the use of this machine uh, the user mentioned is m clark now alert prioritization so now for example these high uh, alert they they steal all of that so the way to do it is of course you do with time so logical things is uh, is you start from the oldest to the newest because if let's say the the older one if you start with a new one and the hacker started uh, already uh, is starting his bridge so you already you're giving the hacker time to to steal so usually you start with the older one first but also when you go with the older you start which high critical because for example here this one is an old but it's slow so if you choose between this and this or on this you don't go straight to the older you go to the critical one because this is serious so you need to play with time and severity to make your decision so filter the alert make sure you don't take the alert of other analyst so for example this one is already given I don't uh, it's not mine um, 
start by severity and sort by time. So these two variables is very important. Should you first prioritize medium over low severity alert? Yes, medium start before low. Now, should you first take the newest alert and then the oldest? No, we start with the oldest. Assign yourself to the first priority alert and change its status to in progress. The name of, the, uh, of your selected alert will be answered to the question. The first priority alert. Uh, assign yourself the third priority. So if I look here, high, critical, low, yes, this is uh, uh, older, but this is it's a bit... Uh, um, high alert so common sense for me is just an assign it to me myself and save so now uh, so the name should be so I start the uh, high critical first so no alert triage the triage is uh, as I said uh, this one is more practice for example start priority the alert assign the alert to yourself move the alert to progress read alert name uh, note alert feed like host IP, move alert to close, escalate, or with, uh, so, so the whole things. Uh, this one is better you can read, but we can practice directly. Uh, uh, so, for example, now because we did this, usually because we're starting, you can say I signed myself, status in progress, uh, is a progress, so it's my progress alert. Uh, no, uh, not that. Now we can read it. It's a critical. It said this will detect five or more gigabytes of data sent from single device to a single destination within a day. So we have a day, not like a uh, five minute, which may indicate data exfiltration to unusual location. Now the destination zoom. So this is all to tell you. This is not suspicious because that's a normal zoom meeting. Source IP 192.168, this is a local IP, source network meeting room, so this one, and then the data, yes, the data too high, but we have the whole day, the whole day data. So it means we have local IP sending to this, zoom.us, it's legitimate. So I can say, for example, uh, verdict is this false positive because uh, this we can say remember this is we're not writing full report uh, we can say this uh, for example is a false positive data is uh, for example for uh, meeting zoom streaming uh, video for example st uh, what is what I'm doing, what I'm typing wrong, streaming video, uh, zoom streaming video from uh, company meeting for his company meeting room to uh, zoom a legitimate server. For example, uh, of course, if you have a detailed report, we can say the time, uh, say the source, for example. Uh, uh, local IP uh, meeting room uh, destination uh, Zoom server so so uh, and then we can say for and then we can say close the, the, the and we can say we got our first flag because we got the answer correct now. The next one is uh, which flight did you see after you created three as the second priority? So now let's close this. So we have this, we have been between these two, we have uh, this, and we have the older one. Now, if we uh, we can just do the time and jump to low because this one is high, so someone can argue start with this uh, status in progress uh, and then uh, assign it to myself, save, uh, and then. Uh, uh, let's see what it says. This will detect creation of double extension file like .pdf. Uh, uh, so this is, if you know, this is dangerous. So it's a uh, type of phishing uh, process named Chrome. So Chrome is open it. Uh, the user is uh, S Conway, and then they tell us the, the download was downloaded by uh, folder. And they give us the, the hash. So if you get the hash MD5, you can just go to virus total.
and if you go to virus totally tell you uh, security vendor flag this file as malicious I can go to details what exactly this copyright 24 what exactly this thing do RT what exactly this one do there's not too much information community Asian beat rat when it was this 25 1 January uh, three hours ago so this user came here like we did uh, But in any case, uh, uh, we're not here to go to advanced analysis. Uh, where is it ours? So the fact is, you, you don't usually download file in this way. So you know definitely this is something dodgy. So we know the user uh, called uh, S. Connie. So you can write our report now. We can see the vertex is uh, true positive. We can say user Coroni used Chrome to download malicious file from the internet with uh, uh, malicious extension or okay. extension um, extension what was the, the extension dot mp four dot xe which is a clear indication for malware or something in that in that regard yeah we can just uh, yes we're not writing for report in any case so and then we can close the, the, the case and we got uh, oh, the case so we can do that now the last one is straightforward we left with uh, only one so where's the last uh, okay, wait in action so I can edit I can um, in progress assign it to myself okay there and then we can read about this rule detect any download from github why github stores lots of great projects that our IT team use it's also store malicious and the, uh, this one you can know from the link it's not malicious I can go uh, of course you don't just open link directly like that usually we have software for this but for us it can see that it's react and it's really it's a Facebook uh, meta so it's not like uh, some kind of dodgy this is a meta uh, meta thing so um, uh, <coughs> user for example Chandler G is Chandler so we can know this is uh, false positive we can close it for example uh, user G Chandler downloaded uh, file for example from uh, which is uh, legit legitimate uh, legitimate uh, github repo for facebook yeah so yeah you can just say that we don't need so we close use a false positive and save and we get the the flag and of course conclusion is congratulation and that and uh, I think there will be an action made by Altianist after escalation uh, let me next you will learn about proper alert comment commenting and the report it means there is I think react me will release soon more rooms for this uh, uh, because of uh, they preparing user for the for the cert for the SL1 certified and to to use this i will maybe make a video for these uh, things yeah i didn't like this one because uh, what happened I, I i didn't like this because all the uh, the question is false positive false positive all of them is just uh, confusing any case guys i hope you like it uh, yeah thank you very much and have a good day